Hey folks, welcome to uh, another POV walk. Uh, today we're using the uh, XV100 again, but we've got uh, the uh, Hyogi LUV X54B. That was a mouthful, it's a UV filter. So let's see if it makes a difference or affects the, uh, the pictures. And remember, at the end of the video, we'll have some bonus pictures as well for you. Catch you all in a bit. So folks, we're in Tynemouth today, and it's actually quite a bright sunny day. So we're on the uh, X100V again. We're testing out the uh, the new Hyogi LUV X54B filter, that's a mouthful, UV filter, and it technically should weather seal the camera, but obviously I haven't tested that yet, but the idea is it'll protect it from dust and humidity. And there's some people coming here, so we're gonna them in the shot as well. Now it's... We've got the lovely Time Mouth station here, which is the metro station, but we've got some amazing uh, architecture in here. And, uh, I'm presuming I should be able to walk across the bridge and even get some pictures of the, uh, the trains. So just to give you an idea, what you've got in here for the architecture. I don't know when this station dates back to. I've always wanted to get one of these kind of shots. That's sort of a shallow depth of field. You see what I'm trying to achieve? To get all the lines of symmetry, balancing at the back. We'll disengage the ND filter. You can see the difference it makes. And there we go. Okay, so we've moved a little bit closer into uh, Time Mouth now. And it's got lots of lovely cobbled streets, which I love to try and get down at a low angle to and try and get some people in. So, go for landscape. Shots in between the gaps there. That was our first in between shot gap to frame people with arbitrary bits of scenery. Oh, 
guy standing in the archway. Now, there's lots of little nooks and crannies to this place. And that place is held up by a stick. Goodness me. There's so much dereliction going on. Now that had to be quick there. Was it, if that one was to get the, um, the reflection of the people going past in the window. And I think I got it. Life from lifelessness. That's a quote from a Star Trek film. <laughs> it's Genesis. <laughs> I'm just going to get a picture of that because that. I quite like that. I quite just like that sign. Unfortunately, we can't get it all in. But we can. But you can't see this. It's... Ooh, Harley Davidson motorcycles. Typically, we're on the wrong side of the street. Oh, look at that, they're stopping. I have to bring the exposure right down. On the focus. And there we go. And it would be remiss of us not to take a picture of the uh, what's going on here. It was stopped down to F8. I'll stay in Provia. Bring the exposure back up. And let's see if we can uh, capture some people in the distance on the beach. I think we'll get some of the railing in just to get an idea of how far we are, to get an idea of the distance. Just a small amount, because I want to get a, a reading about the sky in. And focus and go. What we've got down this uh, narrow alleyway. Oh my goodness. It's a derelict chop. This is what's happened to all too many places. See the dereliction in there. This is where a polarizer would have come in later. We're going to have to wait for some people to come past because I would like to catch some people in the reflection. They are so approaching now. Approaching. Have we got them in frame? Have we gassed right? Just the mere hint of life. Deploy the ND filter as it's bright. Now we're down to one two fiftieth around then. Right? That was about right for what we wanted. 
Sign of the times, eh? About a chained up Chaz. Now there's a lovely flower bed over here, and I want to see if I can try and capture some people walking by just to sort of defocus um, with the flowers if that's possible. Could be quite tricky. But does it look like I'm taking a picture of flowers? Um. This is the other thing, you know, about uh, this modern day life is that in amongst all the beauty here, all these lovely flowers. What do we see? A discarded mask. There's another sign of the times as well. <laughs> In a world gone upside down. We'll probably swing back round to get some people up on the, uh, the park. Cyclist. Cyclist, cyclist. It's the quintessential cyclist shop. Panning there. Mm, the railing got in the way. I needed to have a slower shutter speed for that to uh, get the background to blur. And I just realised I was on 1/4000 for a second. I'm not ideal. Not ideal at all. The Raspberry Bazaar. Another sign of the times there, isn't it? Look at that. Exposure, right? We'll focus on the nearest uh, padlock. That's a big piece of tiffin cake. Oh, that's quite a nice car. There we are. There's all the people in queuing. Sign of the times, they're all in their little box. All waiting. It's a classic Mercedes. Oh my god, and we can get it in. Down a bit. Get the exposure up, I think you can see that. Yeah, let's get the exposure right about the tree. Let's kind of frame it on the left. And let's probably go to F5.6 now. Let's go up. We'll get a little closer. Let's get stuff in. probably do that. I'm going to think of sort of if we can get the side shot in, 
I don't know if we can. Just. This could be tricky. We can't get wide enough. We just can't quite get wide enough. That's just saying. If this other car wasn't in the way, we could do it. But we can get a slight angle and get wide enough. That's it. I wanted to get it with nothing here. Really low down to the road. You should be able to see that. I'm just going to drop the explosion one step. 5.6, nicely framed, bring that down a bit again, I want to get the garden gate in this time. But the station's a lot quieter now, now this is where Time Out Market also runs. So. Shot of that, come on, an exposure. So, again, shallow depth of field, got all the leading lines. You can see this. Focus on the top. So I was hoping to get uh, somebody walking out the exit, but it's that desolated now. I'll tell you what we can do. We've got this here. On the platform, platform number one. Shallow depth of field f5.6. Try to cross that's a little gully with shops down there. I'm doing uh, some street shots, so uh, I don't mind getting people in. <laughs> so if you'd, if you'd like, if you'd like to walk down, we'll catch you in walking naturally down. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Like, yeah, I'm gonna have a wander down, yeah. Um, but, uh, I'm just trying to sort of document all the strangeness that's happening. Yes, yeah, uh, it's been very, it's become very popular, sort of what they call point of view photography. So yeah. you, you'll be uploaded to YouTube and famous. <laughs> now, I only have 180 <laughs> subscribers, I've just started. <laughs> well, thanks very much. Tunnel. Everything's closed. And let's head back. And back out to where we start. On the cobbly street. So folks, I leave you with a view of Tynemouth Station. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, and remember, I will be giving you some uh, bonus images uh, at the end after this. So please do keep watching for some bonus images. And remember to uh, subscribe, click the bell for notifications, and like the video. It all helps the channel. Thank you so much for your support so far. It's been absolutely 
amazing. Let's take one last picture and then we shall go low down to the road. Get the perspective in. And there we go. See you all later, folks.